What's going on guys? Welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to rotoscope. Before we get into the tutorial, I want to give a practical breakdown on what rotoscoping is. So to do this, I'm going to draw a character here. His name is going to be Bob because he's cute and blue. I'm going to draw in a purple background, but just go ahead and pretend like it looks like Tahiti or something. And this is going to represent layer number one. Now that you have that, let's create another layer. Let's pretend we want to create a hazy smoke atmosphere and put it behind our subject, Bob. So I'm going to draw some smoke here, cut it out so you can understand more what's going on. Put it on top of Bob, but as you can see, as I move it around, it's always going to be on top of Bob. This is going to be layer number two. But if you duplicate layer number one and bring it back on top of all the layers, you now have layer number three. And now we're essentially going to rotoscope just like you would in After Effects, except in this case, I'm going to cut out little blue Bob here. And then when you put him back on top and reveal the background and mask him out, you can see it looks like he's on top of that smoke atmosphere. Rotoscoping in a nutshell. Now that you hopefully have a better understanding of what rotoscoping is and how it works, let's hop into After Effects and learn how to actually accomplish it. First off, just start by dragging your footage down here to the new composition bin, and this will create a composition with all the attributes of your original footage. So here's me just being a dingus at the apple orchard trying to find an apple, you know, just a nice juicy one. So let's just say I wanted to add some text behind me. I'm going to go up here to the text tool, drag out some text over top of me in a text box, and type in, Colin Ross is a dingus. Yep. True fact, true fact. So I'm gonna drag this up and I'm gonna go over here in the paragraph and center it. That had nothing to do with jack squat. So I'm gonna scale this up, hold shift on my keyboard and then drag the corner right here. So obviously this is on top of me and let's say for example, I wanted it to be behind me. Some people think, you know, drag it below your footage but then that obviously you can't see anything because After Effects is a layer based program. So drag it on top of your footage, just like in the arts and crafts beginning, go ahead and hit control D on your keyboard and that will duplicate this footage layer and then you wanna drag it on top of your text layer. It's going to disappear obviously because this entire layer is on top of the text layer. So we're going to do exactly what we did with the scissors except here in After Effects. And the way to do that is go up here to the pen tool and draw a mask around your subject. This is going to help you understand why everyone hates rotoscoping and when you hear that word and people are like, oh I hate it. Basically at this point it's going frame by frame and drawing a mask over your subject. So I'm just going to go here just like I was with the scissors, cutting out. So it's not 100% important to do it down here because my text is up here, but it just depends on your footage. So I'm just gonna draw the best mask I can. Do -de -do -de -do 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 -do. I might speed this up, but you gotta, you gotta do this for your footage, you know, obviously to match whatever you're doing. So just blah, 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 blah. I'm actually am a dingus, look at me, just looking like an idiot, straight up into the air. Who even am I? I don't really know. And then, you know, draw around this poker stick thing, this apple picking device. I don't even, I honestly didn't even know those existed. But, you know, just keep going, keep going, keep going. And a lot of experienced After Effects users who are probably watching this are like, this guy is rotoring like an idiot. I'm just doing this for example, and then I'll show you a couple different methods on how to do it better. So boom, boom, and then close off the mask right here. And then there you go. Now that text is behind me. So you can see, so now I can move this text anywhere and it'll look like it's actually behind me in the environment. So I'm gonna drag that right there. So if you're trying to rotoscope multiple frames, what you wanna do is hit M on the keyboard and then hit the mask path keyframe. What you also can do is hit F on your keyboard and feather this um, layer out because if you look closely, it's a little, you know, it looks a little rough. So if you add a, like a 4% feathering, it just smooths out your mask and makes it look a little less sharp. So if I drag this text a little bit down, as you can see, you should be able to see it through this little patch. And what you can do there is you need to click the pen tool again, or you can hit G on your keyboard and then draw a little mask out of this area. And then nothing's gonna happen. You're probably like, Colin, why'd I have to do that? What you have to do is go down in here on the mask properties for this mask and hit subtract. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna subtract anything that that mask is on top of. So now you can see through that little hole in the backpack through to the background. Obviously a lot of you are rotoscoping multiple frames. So if I hit page down on my keyboard, I'll go forward one frame and then obviously this entire mask is messed up. So if you hit your layer, it'll bring up the mask properties again. You know, this is gonna be dependent on your situation since mine didn't move a whole lot. I can double click on any point and then it'll select every mask point. I can just drag it up a little bit to match again. This is just about getting it to look as good as you can for your footage. Obviously I should double click this mask as well and drag it back up to the backpack hole. So as you can see, as you zoom in on your keyboard pressing plus, there's two keyframes right here and the text moves behind you and the mask is keyframe to move along with my body. But this isn't how you want to rotoscope everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these masks. Then obviously the text is going to disappear. So if you're rotoscoping with normal mask, what you wanna do is you wanna draw different masks for different parts of your body. 
body. So for example, in this situation, I would probably wanna draw a mask for this apple picking device because this is gonna move independently. And then I'm gonna turn off the text layer just so I can see it a little bit better. And then I'm also probably gonna to wanna to make a mask for my arm. And then I'm also gonna to wanna to make an overlaying mask for my torso. Probably just this arm too, since it doesn't move a whole lot. You wanna highlight certain regions that are moving together in unison, and obviously the human body moves in unison, so create different masks for the arm, and then you know create one for the backpack, because this object isn't gonna move independently of the other objects. Maybe a little bit, but not as much. Obviously one for my lower body here and then one for my head up here. And After Effects is gonna do a good job of creating different colors for your mask so it's easier to keep track of. I'm not gonna make this perfect just for the tutorial's sake. So this is again probably a little bit confusing why I would do this. So I'm just gonna select all the masks, hit the top one, hit shift, and then click the bottom one. This will select all the masks, and then hit M on your keyboard, and then the mask path is going to show up. Click the keyframe, and that's just gonna make it possible so when you make a change further down the line that it will interpolate over that amount of frames. If you go forward a few frames, what you can do is you can double click each mask and kind of move it back into position. Do, 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 like that. For this situation, it doesn't matter a whole lot because my body isn't moving a whole lot. Lot, but in situations where you're running or something like this, it makes it a lot easier to accomplish the rotoscope when you have individual masks. So those are the essential basics on how to rotoscope in After Effects. I hope we explained it in a clear, concise way. If I did and you enjoyed it and I helped you out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm uploading a video every single day for the rest of 2017. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, bye. Peace, peace.